Good evening, my classy, classy people. My name is Wayne Bolden. I'm the Speed King, of course. And as always, please turn your closed captions on for us. And remember uh, to subscribe and ring the bell. Support us in that way. Tip sheets will be available for the upcoming Preakness uh, stakes on the uh, 13th and 14th of uh, May, of course, down there in beautiful Merlin at Pimico, for sure. Email us at speedking 24 at yahoo.com. Well, the Derby is in the rearview mirror and um, great, great day. The question becomes, our Derby winner, Mage, done a beautiful job. Can he win the Triple Crown? Well, the Triple Crown is very difficult and very elusive. And the obvious reasons are right in front of us. It is run over three different racetracks at three different distance in a short amount of time. That is a very, very hard feat. That's why only 13 Triple Crown winners have emerged from the three races. Mage, I believe, have a great opportunity uh, to conquer that. I believe if he can somehow navigate through the Preakness on a two-week return, I think the Belmont Stakes plays more favorable to him because it's a sting at a longer distance, speed and stamina over a mile and a half of ground. Uh, the advantage that Mage should have going into the Preakness is that uh, he made his fourth start in the Derby. His speed figure went up just a tick and he still have a big upside. This horse is still improving and learning how to run. Uh, being by good magic on the back end by Big Brown, there is a lot of stamina there with some inherent speed. The field is going to be small in the Preakness, uh, so that's going to work to his advantage. His disadvantage is there's going to be some new shooters on the, on the scene. And I got one or two in mind that will give him fits. The other disadvantage, I think, why it's so elusive, in my opinion, the number one reason, obviously distance and service are the two biggest factors for me in horse racing. But I think it's the time. The races are run in 35 days, the three races. And no one screams and yells about time in between races. I like four to six weeks. You hear me say it all the time. But that's just me and if I'm going to play a horse I like to have things my way. So I think the biggest reason that it's so elusive is because of the time in between the races. Uh, Scotty Mack, our ambassador, made a point to me today uh, by saying he thinks they should move the Preakness out one week. I wouldn't be diametrically opposed to that. Three weeks for the uh, Preakness, three weeks for the Belmont. Still not happy with that time, but it surely beats two weeks. Now, having said that, I do believe, obviously, Mage is in position to win the Triple Crown. I do believe, given the factors that we just talked about, can he win the Triple Crown? I believe that he can. But do you get this funny, funny feeling? No, he didn't. I just said it. I get this funny feeling. I don't know nothing. But for some reason, I don't think they're going to run this horse in the Preakness. Don't ask me why I feel that way. I don't have no solid evidence of that. Other than, I think they overthink their position a lot of times. My position is, if you win the Derby, anything short that the horse is healthy, of course, and that all is right with the horse, he's happy, he's working regularly, if you can work him within two weeks, that you are propelled, you sure are compelled to run in the Preakness. I don't think you get a buy there. I don't think you get a pass there. I don't think you get a mulligan there. You have to run in the Preakness if you win the Derby, providing the horse is sound, healthy, and happy, and ready to go, and ships nicely. But I got this funny feeling that they're not going to run Mage in the Preakness. Um, why do I feel that way? I mean, I don't know. I think because there's two or three shooters there that they know are very, very good. But let's lean to the fact or to the hopefulness that this horse will run in the Preakness. 
The question that I put towards our community is, do you think this horse can win the Triple Crown? Is he our 14th Triple Crown winner? Let's start a healthy discussion. Let's start a healthy dialogue. Let's talk about the Derby and how the horse went into the Derby and the beautiful, pristine ride that he got from the professional Castellano, okay? Who forgot more about race riding and horsebacking than a lot of jocks in the country. He's an awfully, awfully good veteran, savvy, and he is a Hall of Famer and have ridden some of the top horses uh, in the world that uh, came um, under his saddle, for sure. So can Mage... Uh, win the Triple Crown. How do you think he's going to take to the neutral, the natural track that plays neither to speed and doesn't play neither to closer? It's a fair track. How will he handle that? How would he handle the two-week turnaround? That is so big for me. Wow. But I know he was out jogging today. Today is Tuesday. Uh, the track at uh, Churchill was muddy. Um, and they still worked them, so that's a great, great sign, because typically if they see mud or rain on the racetrack, there's no reason to run your derby winner around the track to work them out, but they, they worked them out. So I know he's happy, I know that he's sound, and we want to see him show up in Maryland for the second leg, because he's the only one to have a shot at winning the Triple Crown, and that's part of the sport to try to win the whole thing. It's a challenge, two weeks, different distance, three weeks later, up there in Elmont, New York, down a mile and a half, you got to go over Big Sandy and that long, long stretch. So the question to the community, let's start a healthy dialogue, of course. Ken Mage, our Derby winner, win the Triple Crown, knowing all the factors that we know, how elusive the Triple Crown is. There is only 13 winners ever in the 140 times it's been run or whatever. And of course, the distance, the surface, they all change. And of course, the big thing, you have fresh faces, new shooters waiting for you who's fresh, fit, and fast, talented in their own right. Let's see if Mr. Mage shows up. My heart tells me that somehow they're going to scratch it. They're not going to enter this horse. I sure hope that's not the case. We want to see him run in the Preakness. And we want to see him get a shot at the Triple Crown. Let me know what you think. Can our Derby winner win the Triple Crown? Let's have a healthy discussion. I know it'll be classy as always. And of course, tip sheets. On Preakness and Black Eye Susan that Friday. Email me, speaking24 at yahoo.com. Thanks so much for your classy support, and let's see if we got a Triple Crown winner on our hand. I think Justified was the last one to do it. Matter of fact, I'm certain. Stay classy, y'all.